Welcome to Initiating Tandem Heart Support with LifeSpark Pump. This training is designed to provide you with the basic procedure steps for the LifeSpark system and should be used as a supplement to the LifeSpark Operations Manual, Procedure Guide, and Directions for Use. When utilizing the Tandem Heart Procedure Kit, begin the insertion process of the transeptal and arterial cannula. Use a standard transeptal puncture technique to gain access into the left atrium from the femoral vein. Remove transeptal needle and introduce a guide wire into the left atrium. Remove the transeptal catheter and sheath. Anticoagulate to achieve ACT level over 400 seconds. Advance the two-stage dilator over the guide wire until the largest diameter section enters the left atrium. Then remove the dilator. Insert the introducer cannula assembly over the guide wire into the left atrium. Confirm the position of the tip of the transeptal cannula inside the left atrium using techniques such as pressure transducing, O2 saturation, and echocardiography. Confirm adequate volume exists in the left atrium. Next, remove the guide wire and introducer until they are beyond the clamp area of the cannula. Then, leaving the hemostasis cap in place temporarily to control blood loss, clamp the cannula in the clamp area and remove the introducer, wire, and hemostasis cap from the cannula. Note the transeptal and arterial cannula depth markings. Using a percutaneous entry needle, gain arterial access in the femoral artery of choice. Serial dilate appropriately prior to placing the arterial cannula in the patient's femoral artery. Remove the wire and introducer and clamp the cannula. Secure both cannulae to the patient's leg by suturing the suture wings provided with each cannula. Pump connection to the cannulae can now be performed. Connect the pump inflow tubing marked with a blue stripe to the transeptal cannula using a wet-to-wet -wet connection. Connect the pump outflow tubing marked with the red stripe to the arterial cannula using a wet-to-wet -wet connection. Once you have confirmed that all of the air has been removed, insert the tubing over the second barb of the tubing connectors. Once again, inspect the circuit for air. Start the pump, which will start at 3500 RPMs. Check for air bubbles. If the tubing and pump are air-free, Slowly release the clamp on the outflow cannula. Gradually increase the speed of the pump until the desired level of flow is achieved. When appropriate, remove the sterile drapes from the cannula insertion sites. Secure the pump or pump and oxygenator using the appropriate holster. For tandem heart procedures, use the holster provided along with the neoprene thigh wrap for device securement. For more information, contact your local Tandem Life representative.